So hi guys, this is Chaitanya. Today I'm going to explain how to automate Facebook login page by using Java Selenium. So initially what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to open this Eclipse page. So I'll select this location path for store the projects. Just a second, it is asking for... I'll browse a new location here. C try I'll select launch continue so now I'm just going to open the Eclipse page here I select the create new server project Okay, I just entered the project name demo. Let me just click on the finish. So once it is done, it will be shown like this. And initially, I have to configure with the Selenium standalone server application. So here, I just click on right click on the Java project and uh, click on build path under configuration build path. So here, select libraries. Under this libraries, just select the class path and add external jaws. So already I have downloaded this external jaws. I'm just going to configure with this external jaws. So apply and close. Now the setup has done. After that, I'm just going to create a new clause. Here, demo underscore FP login. Okay. Here, uh, just select this main method. Just check on this main method and click on finish. Once it is done, the class has created. So initially what I have to do here, I will add the system property, system dot set properties. I'm just going to add here. So system dot set property will write web driver. What driver? I'm just planning to use Chrome driver, Chrome dot driver and here i'm just going to copy this location path of the web driver application so i have downloaded this particular applications here under the files i just copy this particular location path and i paste it under here this particular canvas double slash i'm just giving the property chrome driver dot exe okay so where we can get this all uh web driver applications means under i can show here selenium dot dev application here i can see here the download options under this download scroll down after this i can able to see this browsers and the browser which browser i want to run this url i can able to select the url uh, select the browser compatibility web driver applications i can download from here chrome driver i can click on this chrome here once it is done, it will be shown these two versions. Uh, one is a beta stable version. Every time I have to download this uh, stable version, it is a new version, uh, whichever it is a stable. So which browser I, I am using, I can able to check here under this Chrome help Chrome driver. I can able to see this version here, the 1.1060.5249.19, the version. So that version uh, I can able to see here. So once click here, automatically it will be downloaded here once we select this uh, which version so this is a chrome driver win32 we need to select because it is only for windows and uh, above there is a mac uh, this is only for macbooks and this is a linux OX. this is that is a different so you have to select windows 32 bit so sometimes you will get it i am using 64 bit uh, configuration system then why should i click once why should i select the 32 bit so this is a chrome driver application they have installed they have implemented only for 32 32 bit supported so fine you can able to use this 32 bit application also in your 64 bit processor system also that is no worries and uh, 
once it is a uh, configuration configuration is done i'll classify here which browser i'm using uh, web driver i'll import here web driver driver equal to new chrome driver new chrome driver so once i import here I select the browser properties here and further I'm choosing driver.get method to hit the URL. So which URL I want to hit I can select the URL I can just copy this particular URL. So I'll copy and I'll paste here. now i'll maximize this window i'll take the method to maximize the window the window i'll take here the method drive dot manage the window i'm just going to manage here whether maximize or minimize manage so maximize i'm just going to maximize here and further i'm just going to enter this username and password to automate scripts here set dot driver dot find elements by id i can able to take here this particular locator so i if i want to add this inspect i'm just going to inspect here i'm using this id locator copy this id name Okay, I'll use the send key method, send keys. In the send keys, whichever I want to data add in here, Facebook username here. If I want to add some of the data, the data, whatever the data, if I want to add, I'm taking here the send keys method. So username I can able to give here. so now what i'm going to do here same method i can take here for enter the password so by dot name so in this page i will inspect this password so i click on this left side of the button so uh, it is highlighted here some of the options so here i can take this by dot name i'll copy this and i'll paste here this particular element value so i'll use the send keys method here i'm entering the password okay then i will use some of method drive dot find element to click the login page i can take here by dot name by dot name means here whenever i inspect here i can have to see this login button values and attributes here i can see able to see here the login the particular name attribute values the login i am copying here the login and one more thing guys don't type just copy and paste these particular values attribute values 
So I will log in. Here I want to click this particular function. So I use the click or submit or enter. I have used three methods. So now I'm using the click method. So click. Now there is no errors. So now let us run what will happen. Yeah, the page is open, the Facebook page is open. So it is very quickly open in automation perspective. So if you want to see slowly for executing one by one, so you can be able to put the timings also for the. So here where we can put this. So once we enter, for example, if I want to uh, enter this after username and the password, so I can able to use it thread dot sleep method. Right. Sleep methods. I can classify here in milliseconds. Five thousand means it's a five mil five seconds. So I can put here. So now it is showing errors. So if I want to remove these errors, I just use this uh, super class throws throwable method. So just click on here. So now perfect. Uh, it's looking good. There is no any errors in this canvas page. So now I'll save and I'll run it. Just look and see. After entering the user name, it will take five seconds to enter the password. So after enter the password, it is automatically click the login page. Let's open the login page. Okay. Yeah, this is the way we are following to automate in Facebook for login page. And thanks for watching.